very good trainer. Very good trainer. <laughs> I like doing it. I like um, talking to uh, to people yeah. about the work because it makes me think about what I'm doing. Yeah. I, I go back over what I've done in the past and think. Yeah, it's always a problem with me, wasn't it? Yeah, I wonder how I can overcome that. You know, I find out techniques. Also, I had a good teacher. I've had three good teachers, and you absorb things from other people. You don't believe everything they say, but you take it on board. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. If it rings a bell with you, you can yeah. see it's something that you can use to show yeah. your repertoire. Yeah. Or something you've come across yourself. Yeah. And you think, you know, you, you go out there on stage and you feel good. really clumsy. You know? How can I overcome? How can I feel better about myself? How can I move easy? How can I forget what I'm doing physically and concentrate on. Yeah, that's nice. mm. Like you were doing, you know, like that with cross, the interruption thing, trying to make you laugh. Did I get you? Yeah. 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 Really yeah. yeah. There's a secret to this. I'll tell you what the secret is. The more people they are, the more people there are of you, the easier it is. That's right. And he said something good, like when I said, you know, part of me think of a funny movie. So you've got to keep what's happening outside out your mind. Absolutely. Concentrating to the extent we exclude all the other stuff around you and just concentrate on the job you have to do in hand. It's an achievement. Not, let me tell you, not just an achievement on stage. This is an achievement for life. Yeah. It is. It's an achievement for life. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you come out of your, your, your little office there, a couple of guys waiting by the side of a car, if you come out and you walk across, you know, to the car, and these guys see you coming. Hey, this guy knows what he's doing. This guy means this guy is serious. It's almost as though, it, like, people just observing you, they can sense if you've got fear or something. Yes, they can sense it, that's yeah, it. Yeah. They can sense it. It's a subtle thing, it's a very subtle thing. It's not, you don't go, well, yeah, of course. Uh, it's one of those things, you sort of absorb the other person. You kind of absorb their totality. When, when there are things are not working right, why? It's just a game. Selling a car is just, is acting. Of course. And it's all it is, and that's how we get told, it's acting, and you have must play in their act. And you go away, and if they, you work on a price, and you, and you know you can sell it at the price, you go out to make sure that they're going, maybe we've got him, and you know you can sell it at that price, but you walk out and come back five minutes later and say, look, we'll do it, but even though you could have said yes out there on the spot, too easy, it's all a game, it's all a charade, it's all a, an act, and this is all it is, it's all an act. Just as we are, you know, we're doing the illusion of reality, so, you, so are you in a way. You know, you're, you're, the illusion is you're gonna get them the best possible deal, and you're gonna make them believe that you're a, the, the guy to do it, and the only guy to do it, and the, you, they can trust you. Yes. Yeah, as you say. It, it's, it's a game. As is life. Mm. Oh, that's right. And what you do when you're selling a car, or what we do on stage, is what life is. Yeah. It's just communicating between people, doing things to and for other people. It's a community. Isn't it? It's a community of people. That's what theatre is too, it's a community of people. It's, and I've seen people come into a theatre, they used to, I don't know what they still do, and it's as though they were going into a church. In terms of like, the congregation you mean? In terms of the atmosphere. Oh, okay, yeah. There is something that happens in this space which is magic. And it can be a church. Very sacred, you mean? Yeah. It can be a church, it can be a theatre, or it can be a classroom for that matter. Close and relax for like five and a half. Coming up. Relax. And. I mean, the main man in this is the, the guy who wrote the play. Yeah. Yeah. Or Richard, who's directing it, you know, or whatever. And you are interpreting, you are the channel through which as it is in your church, I hope, you are the channel through which yeah. the congregation are affected. Yeah. Mm. That you are not... That's right. Priest, yeah. you're no. not no. No. the God himself. No, no, no. no exactly. Well, there's always, 
I mean, God's above all. So, I mean, he's the one who's running the show, basically. Yeah. Yeah. We're just vessels. You're you're the vessels. Yeah, you are the communicator. You are the telephone through which a message goes. That's right. That's right. That's right. And the better the telephone you are, the easier it is to communicate with the person at the other end. Exactly. If they're saying it's a terrible line, (laughs) you're not doing the job. That's right. These were written in a time when, when playwrights were actually writing good words. And the guy that wrote it um, <laughs> was particularly interested in words because he was a Trappist monk. Does that mean anything to you? No. Well, Trappists don't speak to each other. They spend their whole life in silence. There is something else that should always know. I'm not sure about the church anymore. In the theatre, miracles happen all the time. It's the only place that I know. I mean, I'm not a religious person. But it's the only place I know where miracles still happen. Oh, it still happens in the church too. Yeah, I guess it does. Yeah. I guess it does. But you're closer to that than I am. <laughs> well, you'll see it when you come and watch us. Yeah. But, I've, <laughs> but I've, 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 I've been in rehearsal thinking this is never going to happen. This play is never going to go on. We are never going to be ready. Two weeks later. Beautiful. How did that happen? Suddenly it's loaves and fishes. And providing you know every minute of the play, while well, you're on stage, if you know every minute what it is you are doing, you can get through. You can get by. These days, actors don't take prompts. <laughs> We're not, we don't know the extent of the, the power of the human spirit. We don't know. We look at a script and think, I'll never learn that. But you do. You will. Of course you will. You want to go back? You, you're so frightened, you think, I'm never going to be able to get out there without laughing. But you do. Something happens. You know, whether, whether it's, you know, the marionette. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I don't know. But it's miracle time. It really is. And that's why we have... Theatre has that in common. And of course, as far as our theatre is concerned, it's where it started, in the church. Mm. You can tell when it looks for real. You can tell when the person grabbing it believes in it, can't you? Mm. And when it doesn't. You can tell, not just the physicality of it, there's more to it than that. Some people have the ability to use their body such that, you know, they can give a good mind to carrying a heavy weight. It's more to it than that. It's a matter of believing, believing in that situation. The actors have got too big for their boots. Went to the trouble, and the priests had to kick them out. But that's that's what that's what theatre was going to be. That's what it was in the early days, medieval theatre. It was the church using actors to tell the story. Yeah. Suddenly the actors started saying, "Hey, now listen, I'm pretty good. They like me. I need more money." <laughs> More money, you're not being paid anything. No, 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 well, I mean to be paid, you know. But we're giving you meals. Yeah, I know that, but I need money on top of it. Otherwise, sorry, I'm going to go to the church down the road. And eventually all the priests got together and said, kick them out. <laughs> kick them out. So basically, pride that sets in. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm good at what I do, and I know that. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. That's right, that's yeah. right. Don't leave any tension there. Let it all go. I'm off. No worries. All the best. Thank you, Reg. See you guys. Property.